Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Hmm. Isn't she precious? Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! So Walter, so Walter Jones Show. I am he. It is the evening edition. Baby. Oh, man. I'm walking in the park. Walking in the park. Waiting for you to sign on in. Hit the share button if you can. Because I got another doozy right here. It's going to be a hot one. It's going to be off the presses. This show right here, we're talking about chivalry. And what kind of chivalry? Well, it's the kind of chivalry that daughters like. Mm-hmm. Daughters watch. Daughters may not like. Daughters may understand. They may not understand. Yeah. Special guest on Romance in the Park is my daughter. Rebecca <laughs> Olivia Jones. Yeah, I call it that because it stands for quarrels appeased. It means peace. Mm-hmm. My little girl out here walking with me. Oh, what an honor. She called and said, uh, well, she didn't call. She texted me and said, Pops. Or well, Junior calls me Pops. That's my son called me Pops. <laughs> yeah, she called me all the kind of names. She said, uh, pick me up from the train. <laughs> um, I'll be in town. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Just pick me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Laureleen, I picked her up from the train. Mm-hmm. Buddy says, hey, baby girl. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking in this park with this woman because I want to see what she got to say. This no, this is uh, this is no script, uh, no teleprompter. I don't know what kind of questions I'm gonna ask, or I have no idea of the comments. All I know is it's kind of cool out here tonight. Uh, it's a, a balmy, about 60 degrees, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chicago just come out of an Indian, great Indian summer. Mm-hmm. Talking about a shivery, okay? Little dog, but that's all right. She young. She can handle the walk. Baby girl, you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah? Kind of. Kind of? Yeah. Okay. Getting ready to graduate? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. December the... I don't even know. 16th. Yes. December 16th. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby girl getting ready to graduate from college. Getting ready to get up out of there. Been in there for about four, five years. Mm-hmm. And she's about to go march across that stage. Hi. Hey, somebody give me a shout music. Ah, hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, there it is. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Hey, bo. That's the Indian dance. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to break her out of that college. Uh, north. Uh, whoop, not Northwest. Uh, Western Illinois. Mm-hmm, university, yeah. Um, but the uh, baby girl, mm-hmm. help me out here. Okay, what's up, Dwayne Madison? Help me out here. You've seen chivalry. Mm-hmm. You know what that is, right? Mm-hmm. Can you explain it? Come close so I can be warm. <laughs> what's chivalry? Um, chivalry is being a gentleman. Yeah. For example, mm-hmm. opening the door okay. for a woman, um, letting out her seat at the dinner table, um, basically just being kind, being nice, being showing kind. that you respect her, yeah, little stuff like that. Stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Uh, you've seen chivalry from family members, right? Mm-hmm. You think your grandfather is chivalrous to uh, to grandma? He's very chivalrous. Yes. Yeah. What do you see? Tell me what you think. Um, I explain. I can explain. Grand Granddad is chivalrous. It's old school. He's old school. Yeah. Okay. What do you see? Um, How does he treat grandma? With a lot of respect, and he like, like I said. Well, one thing that I remember him saying, <laughs> he like. I when she walks up the stairs, I walk behind her, mm. um, so she doesn't fall. And then when she walks down the stairs, I walk in front of her, so she doesn't fall. Hmm. This is like the cutest thing ever. Really to me. Like <laughs> <laughs> he just always thinks about her yeah. and her well-being before anything, before himself, basically. Yeah. Um, and then like I said, he'll open the door for her. He uh, like. Um, the car door or he'll like 
when she goes to the door, he closes the door behind her and stuff like that. Yeah. Hold her hand. Anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all the cute stuff. Yeah, all the cute stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're in their seventies. Mm -hmm. Still doing that stuff. Mm -hmm. Still doing it. A am I chivalrous towards you? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes you get. Uh, tell me what I do for you. Um, open the door before I get out the car. Or, uh, um. Sometimes you open the door before I get walk in the building. I'll give you that. He ain't helped me with my bags today when I got off the train, y'all. Because <laughs> I was trying to drive. <laughs> but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when you see all of that stuff. He pays for dinner, too. Oh, say, it, say it loud. <laughs> <laughs> he pays for dinner. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do I pay for dinner 10% of the time? 30% of the time, half the people didn't. Nah, all the time. Mm -hmm. I agree that you okay. know, you know. Yeah. I paid for them one time, y'all, because yeah. I was I was feeling like a baller. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The fact that I can remember that day <laughs> <laughs> tells you something, huh? Uh huh. You felt like a baller. And I was I was impressed. You paid for dinner. I was like, wow. Wow, this is my my sugar is paid off, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Do I act that way just for opening car doors? Do I, do I act that way in restaurants too? Yeah. I do. Open hmm. the door yeah. before we walk, before I walk in. Yeah. Yeah. Do sometimes I grab your hand or put my hand around you? Do I hug you like and it gets on your nerve? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do that, don't I? Yes. Why do you think I do that stuff? You don't know? Because your father. God, I set you up. Yeah. I set you up. <laughs> because you think I saw my father do that? Yeah. I mean, he does set a good example. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Then you just start doing it and you get used to it. So yeah. it's just kind of in your blood now. Sure. Sure. So how do you think that's going to affect you or how has it affected you when it pertains to these young men you know, trying to approach you or prior or now or future because you know I'm trying not to get in your business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, does, how, has, how has this affected you and has it caused you to say yay or nay to some of these guys who come around because you don't see the chivalry in these guys or maybe they are showing you chivalry I mean I definitely judge them based off that, like, but it depends. If it's just a stranger, like, mm -hmm. at, on my campus or something, and he a dude, and he just, you know, we walk side by side, I'm not going to expect him to open the door for me just because that's the type of person that I am. I like doing stuff for myself. Okay. So, and then it's like, you know how people just <laughs> open, the door, open the door for you, and you, like, 10 feet away? Sure. And you got to rush. You got to run. Uh -huh. I just say stuff like that. Make you, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if it's somebody that like me or trying to um, get to know me or something, then I'm just going to expect that out of him regardless just because that's the example that I see. Like, I'm just going to be like, my granddaddy would treat you if you did this or mm -hmm. my daddy would treat you if you did this sure. because, no, that's not how you're supposed to do it. But um, I still, like... If a boy don't open the door for me, I don't, I joke about it. Mm -hmm. For him to, like, do it, I just don't take it as serious because, you know, it's not, they don't, I mean, everybody don't take it serious nowadays. Sure, sure. Um, do you think these guys are not doing it because they didn't see it? Yeah. It's like, they didn't, they saw it. Okay. They definitely saw it. But they didn't. Their parents or well, grandparents or whoever raised them didn't like beat it in their heads enough for them to just practice it enough. Okay. Sure, to repeat it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I believe some saw it. I believe a lot of them didn't see it and they just don't know how to be chivalrous. So, what about what do you do as a woman um, for those young men who probably didn't see it? Is there a way you can help them? Stand at the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just. 
Um, like, if you go into a restaurant, I wait. They look at me like, "What's wrong with you?" I open the door, <laughs> and I be like, um, "No, you do that." Or the same way as the car, I just. That's your life. Cause there's some people who just one day you might become famous, and that diary is gonna be worth a whole lot of money. Yeah, well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to finish the the Abram lesson. They cut it off. In about about what? Oh my! They cut it off. Talk. Oh oh. So yeah, as we close this down, cause you shivering and so am I. I'm gonna be like y'all though. I'm gonna be thuggish. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why does that have to be thuggish? Hmm? Well, so what is th like that? <laughs> At Walmart. Really? I seen his whole butt. And he had on them boxer briefs. Okay. So. <laughs> About to get some uh, red uh, drawers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the it. fact that we see his butt. It's just, I don't know. It's just that thug mentality. Everybody yeah. want a little tough guy. No tough guy? Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. it well, somebody said it's, it's really about penitentiary. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the penitentiary, they, that means you belong to somebody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some dudes don't even... called romance in the park all right uh, I just uh, thought to announce that I got three books in here three main books made main enjoying romance in the park uh, and it's men and women it's not just women you would think it's just women but the men are coming to me and telling me the same thing that it's helping them In the house out there. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> so they know. They know if I'm being real or honest or not. Uh, get the message out. So thank you for your transparency on, on um, you know, chivalry because we need to know. There's a lot of. Uh, scripture this. <laughs> 